We have a good game on our hands right now. San Antonio trying to make a comeback versus the Raptors. Always seem to struggle versus San Antonio, but they have a squad. You see, we just got to stop them from scoring, keep them out the paint. You see Tim Duncan going to step out right here. Look at this, man. Shot clock winded down. Tim Duncan showing off the, the strange range. That's that Hall of Fame verification for you right there. Tim Duncan popping threes. Only on 2K. It's all good. You see Manu falling for that pump fake. I'm going to the rack. While Leonard just get out the way when you see D-Man running to the paint. He trying to get treated like Brandon Knight. He almost got knocked over. But I done goof because I left Manu wide open. He gets that easy three right over DeMar face. And Manu, he's heating up right now. You see, he's going to throw up another heat check. Drifting right there. Nothing but net. So I'm going to have to lock down Manu, man. I can't let him heat up. You see, I'm trying to beat everybody down court. Even the defense. I do a nice little spam move. Taking him right to the rim. Tim Duncan just move out the way. Get the nice layup. I'm trying to get those extra points, those and ones. That's what I like to do in the fourth quarter. As you see me bully Kawhi Leonard out the way. Kawhi is just in the wrong place at the wrong time. See, we coming up court. Now, I noticed DeJuan Blair is playing the point guard for some reason, so I'm going to just run right past him. That's the mismatch. Getting the flip shot to go over Kawhi Leonard. Still can't get that foul call. It's all good, though. Tim Duncan, he got that get away simple. He's tired. That jump shot is no good. But check out DeJuan Blair getting the rebound over two Raptors jerseys. He said, look at my no ACLs. He clapping it up. He giving his team the lead. So, of course, every time down the court, we're going to have to try to score. See Tony Parker. I get him with the behind the back move. I'm going up to the rack. Tim Duncan yet. Just move out the way, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan's not trying to get dumped on. He, he wisely just moved out the way. I don't blame him. Bringing it up court. Call the pick and roll with Brooke Lopez. Trying to cross Tony Parker over, but he's not having it. I split the double team. Brooke Lopez with the wild shot. I get that board back, though. Check out Landry Fields, though. I wanted him to come to the basket. He waited too long. I waited too long to pass, and Manu's going to tie this up. This is an important jump ball because we need this position. I'm not really worried, though. I do have that 99 vertical, so that jump ball, give me that. That's going to me. I'm calling for it. Now that we got this possession back, trying to take the lead right here. They bring in a double team. I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm passing it off to my teammate. Look at that bad shot by DeMar. Come on, son. The Spurs are on the fast break. Kawhi Leonard's going to pass it back to Tony Parker. That's going to drop. So, of course, San Antonio take the lead by two again. This is a push and pull, a tug of war. I want to help out on defense, but I can't let Manu get another shot off. San Antonio working the ball around. It finally finds Leonard. He's going to do a little drifting elbow shot. Of course, it drops. So, this is a crucial possession right here. We need the three. I'm calling for that screen right now. Look at that bad rotation. I'm wide open. That's for the tie right here. Ah, and I missed. Perfect release, and I missed. We have a foul to give. Seven seconds left. This game is looking grim. This game is looking tragic. This is actually a good inbound spot because I know somebody's going to come up and try to get this. I see Tony Parker coming up. Oh, give me that. Pick it up, Bar. Let's go. Let's go. Throw that thing down. Come on. This for the tie right here. Bang. That's what we needed right there. I didn't know Tony Parker. There's no way that's going in. Let's go. We pushed the game to overtime versus the Spurs after that nice steal and a three-point shot in transition. China homework? Yeah, I wanna order a jerry fried rice extra fingers, please. Okay, you want one order jerry fried no finger rice? Coming right up. You pick up for a minute. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Man, he always messing up my order. Always giving me the rice with no fingers. Anyway, people, what's going on? It's a superhero of YouTube, your boy Jay. Back again in the second round of the Sports Commentators March Madness. Doing my thing in Madden Ultimate Team. Get out of here, guy. You're not getting that touchdown. Put that ball down. So this guy came to London. He was well prepared. He had everything going for him. But he made a mistake. He put Darren Sproles in and tried to run the screen to the right side of the field. It's not going to happen. So he had a good opening drive. But we was able to hold him to three points. Now we're going to show him how to do it with Curtis Marty Mar. Curtis Marty Mar Martin. Remember, people, if you ain't saying it twice, you ain't saying it right. Curtis Marty Mar. Curtis Marty Mar Martin doing his thing. 
Now Curtis Marty Marr is actually going to show you all how to run the screen. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a Curtis Martin card. The next thing you're going to have to do is you have to sell the block because somebody's going to always break loose to come try to tackle you. But hit him with the water, boy. You thirsty? Get up, son. Get up. You thirsty? Get up. It's Curtis Martin out there. I know some of you all are wondering how to do the water boy, aka dancing with the stars. Basically, you're going to need some perfect timing. You're going to have to wait till that defender either tries to hit stick or dive and tackle you. As soon as you see the person leave their feet, press the back button and watch that defender just fly by you. That was a great catch by Mackey, but unfortunately, we were not able to get seven points. We only could get three out of that drive, but three is better than zero any day. Hold on a second. Hey, mama! Ma, there go that man again. Night train is right there to clean him up. Where you thought you was going? You're not going anywhere. Now here's that famous play that I showed you all at the beginning of the game. Let me explain something to you. This Jerry Rice card that I'm throwing to, he is supposed to be one of the best wide receivers on this game. He's a three-star card with a bunch of great stats, but he drops the ball all the time. I just don't get it. Now, I'm assuming you all know the song by now, so let's sing along together. Nights like this, I wish that raindrops would fall. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that beautiful one-head interception by Cocaine Eddie. Cocaine Eddie, sing, Eddie Kane. Sing for me one more time. He's doing his thing. Go ahead, Cocaine Eddie. That play took us into the second half. And my boy Curtis Marty Marr, Curtis Marty Marr doing his thing, running over two people at the same damn time. Two chains out there. Curtis Marty Marr, Curtis Marty Marr, if you ain't saying it twice, you ain't saying it right. I know you all saw me fail at that water boy attempt, but hey, it don't matter because we in position. Curtis Marty Marr is in position to get that touchdown. And with that touchdown, we went up 10-3, but he was able to score making it 10-10. But we not worried. We not worried because Moose, get loose. Get loose, Moose. You saw Moose got loose on that right side of the field doing his thing over there. Get loose, Moose. That play put us in a position to get another great touchdown. Remember, people, if you ain't saying it twice, you ain't saying it right. Curtis Marty Marr. Curtis Marty Marr Martin. He was able to drive the ball back down the field, putting him at third and four. He needs at least four yards to get the first. He needs six to get the touchdown, but he at least needs to make it to the two. But like a good neighbor, State Farm was there. He needs a State Farm agent right now because he just fumbled the ball on a two-yard line. <laughs> Clean up at our eight, people. Clean up at our eight. I'm sorry. Now, that should have been a nail in the coffin right there, but Curtis Martin was not able to get the first. Now, I'm looking at this play, and I'm like, wait a second. I was going to run it third and one, but I see him run committing. I see him blitzing, so I got to change things up. Moose, huh? get loose. Anyway, people, I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay. Until the next one, it's your boy Jay, and I am is out.